I think it was Meek Mills they was messing with about that. He said that your when your celly leave, it's like your woman leaving. You can have a celly. Nah, dude, you got a celly for three oh, months. They call it celly love. Pack it up. Go ahead to New Jail. You're going to feel like you just lost a chick. Yeah, nah. <laughs> your selling, your selling leaving and your that woman right. leaving them two different that right. lines. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, how did you and Bebe link up? It, it, was it a thing where he went down there, or he had yeah. went, he went down nah, there? Nah, I took well? Bebe to the prisons like two or three different times. Okay. So, me and Bebe got a unique relationship. You know, we met. And uh, it wasn't under the best terms and conditions. It was a miscommunication between me and Bebe. But as years would go by and we would link back up, man, we was able to both see that, you know, it was more about, Bebe thought my passion was about aggression. You know, and I, and I can be a little aggressive, but that aggression is just my passion, man. I really want to rock the culture. I want the homies to see, man, changing your life and doing right can get you this too, bro. Mm -hmm. So when I bumped into him the first time, I was a little rough around the edges. But as time would pass, man, baby hit me, man. Hey, man, let's do it. Well, whenever you need me to go into one of your, the, these prisons, man, I want to go in there with you, man. I'm not coming in there as baby. I'm coming in there as a spectator, man. I want to simply see the work that you're doing, and I want to simply do whatever I can to uplift and continue to promote what you're doing. Bebe is somebody who did come in, and, and when I say he came in, he didn't come in with no ill intentions or with the intentions of trying to, you know, let it be about Bebe. He came in with the intentions that this is about the big reform movement, and I'm here to support that. Wow. Yeah, Bebe stand up. I met him now. I, I, I had never met Bebe till we was at the comedy mm -hmm. show. Uh -huh. and that was my first time meeting him. People don't realize how we just kind of stay in our own lane, you know, because mm -hmm. we've been at this store for 18 years. And they'd be like, you know this person because everybody knowing you when you go out of state. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, no, I never met him. So until I had went to, it was Bubba Dub show or whose show was it? It might have been. Um, I think it was Bubba Dub. Was it show. Bubba Dub show? It was one of them shows and I met him. He seemed like a stand up guy. You know what uh, I mean? I talked with him, gave like him Like I help. say, I can't say, man, baby, somebody I can get on the line. Hey, babe, we trying to get X, Y, and Z done. If he can help you and facilitate it, then he going to do his part. Do it. That's you know good, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's good. And and um, the thing is, man, the way that your passion is, I enjoy it. I respect it because I'm real. I appreciate real, it. I'm a real. I, I like it because it's just something when you know you've been around all, you've been locked up, you've been around all type of characters. Yes, sir. You done seen everybody. I done <laughs> seen it all, baby. I can lace you up and read you in about five real, minutes. Real quick. Quickly. Real quick. And, and I think that's dope because... It helps you even out here in the free world, you know, Correct. because you people don't realize you have that time to study people's character. Correct. And so you dominating when it come down to seeing things. You can see things coming a mile away in slow motion. It's that, funny. It's funny that you say that. I often tell the guys that's incarcerated. I don't see prison as a, as the state penitentiary. You hear me? I see it as an institution where you're able to learn human behavior, psychology, sociology, you know, you're going to learn these things at a high level. You may live on a dorm with a hundred guys. That's a hundred different personalities, a right. hundred different walks of life, a hundred different thought patterns. So you're going to learn that. I was in prison almost 14 years. Wow. So when I come out here, I just need to have a five minute conversation with you. I got you all, you know. <laughs> it's nice to know. Yeah, I just need to have a quick little conversation with you and then I'll be able to tell you, look, I eat. that ain't it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. And it, it <laughs> it's so funny because the only thing I think about when you're saying that is that I wish that more men would be able to have something like that where women are concerned because they don't ever understand women. And you understand. That's interesting. <laughs> I just told a dude, man, you know, living with your woman and living with your Sally, them two totally different things. Wow. <laughs> it was something. Now that you say that, it was, I think it was Meek Mills they was messing with about that. He said that your, when your Sally leave, it's like your woman leaving. You can have a celly. Nah, dude, you got a celly for three oh, months. They call it celly love. Pack it up. Go ahead to New Jail. You gonna feel like you just lost a chick. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> your celly, your celly <laughs> leaving and your that woman right. leaving. Them two different that right. That's what he said. It was like that, bro. Well, he may be insinuating from the standpoint you may develop a, a, a relationship? relationship with your celly. Mm -hmm. If y'all been celly two years or a year and y'all done developed that, you know, personal relationship and they come tell you to pack up, you gonna move, you gonna be kind of like, ah, oh, they taking my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, in the know. world, and baby leaving that house, oh, uh, man. That's a whole different puzzle game. Man. <laughs> Oh, oh, dude, wait a minute. That's, oh, a, ooh, that's another 
time. You oh, it, it'll be it's gonna be bad. What? Ain't nobody cooking. Ain't nobody cleaning. It's ain't quiet. no clothes getting white. Ain't no rumping. And it's jumping. quiet. Oh, yeah, it's better if she took the kids. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> ain't none of that going on. If she took them kids, boy, that's a wrap. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.